So um, the facility itself, uh, you'll notice that uh, we were named the Conrad Center. Manfred Conrad is a local real estate uh, developer who built many of the uh, buildings that our local high-tech companies are in. Uh, and he made a generous donation to us a few years ago that allowed us to move into the space, which of course has the benefit for us and our students of having the Accelerator Center downstairs where some of our student companies can migrate afterwards if they're, if they're up to that level. Uh, and of course upstairs we have one of Canada's major law firms, Miller Thompson, uh, who do a lot of technology and IP related law. So uh, it's very good that they volunteer some of their time to work with our students as well. The, um, the outside uh, offices, of course, but uh, more importantly, on the inside, we have a whole series of breakout rooms uh, for the students to work with. Uh, and because our students basically live here uh, for a year. They treat it more like a job. They're here from eight to eight, basically. Uh, we have kitchen facilities for them. And uh, one of the unique things about our students is because they're all in the same room and they're all here together all the time. Unlike a program that's housed in say a large business school where the students are at different times going to different rooms and things like that. Uh, the students are always here. They're always working together in teams. So there's also a big challenge in terms of, it's like a family, right? and all families occasionally you know, they get along well and sometimes they don't get along well so there's a lot that gets learned over the year as well in terms of human relations and getting along with some very diverse uh, people who are all high achievers because they're entrepreneurs um, and then finally this is our major uh, main classroom and the group who are in here today it's the group that I was telling you about before they are uh, young first-year engineering students uh, who are with us for the summer. We're giving them a business overlay in about uh, two weeks and then we're putting them out into the community for a series of internships with local high technology companies.